Hey guys, once again, this is Alberto from A to Z Tactical Academy. And today, actually I was driving around, went to eat lunch with a friend and uh, realized that the place where we were going had a sign outside that says no firearms allowed, right? So what do you do? What do you carry? What do you take with you in a non-permissive environment? So you can't take uh, firearms into Whole Foods. You can't take firearms into uh, you know, many places you can't take them into cruise liners. You, if you go abroad, you can't take a firearm with you. So, what do you carry when you are in a non-permissive environment, right? So, my choices are, of course, I always have with me my personal first aid kit, it's an ankle kit. Um, you know, I'm wearing it right now. I, I wear it like socks, right? It's kind of like the second thing I put on when I put shoes. Uh, it has a pair of tourniquets, some compressed gauze, some, I put some band-aids in it, I throw a couple of aspirins in there, why not? Um, some uh, scissors, just necessities, right? So nobody says anything about you having a first aid kit. I've actually gone through the airport uh, security and when they see it, they know exactly what it is. It's just a first aid kit and they don't even bat an eye about it. The other thing, I'm actually wearing it right here. I always have one of these with me. This is a flashlight. Looks like a pen when you have it in your um, in your shirt, but it is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. I actually have one of these here. This right here is an amazing flashlight. Comes with a little uh, nylon holster here. I, I don't use it, but uh, this is a great flashlight for a number of reasons, right? So on top of being a bright enough flashlight, uh, it looks like a pen, but it's also the right size that could be used as an impact tool. Uh, if you were trained in the use of a kubaton or a short stick fighting uh, for, you know, pressure points and submissions and things like that, this could be used for it as well. The other part about a flashlight is that it goes everywhere. It's just a flashlight. And you may actually need a flashlight far more than you would need a, um, a firearm, right? So you may have, uh, you're, you, let's say you're inside a theater and you need to see where your seats are. Very easy to do this. Um, you don't want to do that with a weapon mountain light. So highly recommend that you guys get a flashlight as your daily carry. I basically carry with me a flashlight and a first aid kit no matter what and then in addition to sometimes um, my daily carry right uh, it may be that I'm going to dinner I know I'm gonna have a drink or two firearm stays behind I don't take it with me and uh, but these guys the first aid kit and the flashlight they go with me everywhere so this is great now if you're not trained in how to use it as an impact tool, then don't use it for that, right? So um, if you don't know what to do uh, to use these as a coupon uh, or as an impact tool to defend yourself in combination with some boxing techniques, then it's just a flashlight. But still, you will probably use this a lot more. So there you have it. What do you put on for your daily carry? I would like to know. Give me a like, subscribe, and a comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.